All right, everybody, it is eight o'clock. Way to make it in through the rain. Let's have a seat and get started. We've got a full day ahead of us. Well, good morning and welcome to the 2024 Ag Tech Summit. Thank you so much for being here. And as I see the green lights illuminated, it is such a perfect theme that I thought I would tell you a little quote that I recently heard. It's, if you're green, you're growing, and if you're ripe, you're dying. And how fascinating to think about that today as we think about agriculture. Everybody in this room is green today because you are here to network and grow and learn and exchange ideas. So we'll embrace the green theme today. This annual Ag Tech Summit provides a unique opportunity to bring together entrepreneurs, investors, academics, and industry leaders for learning, networking, and advancing the Ag Tech sector. We would also like to extend a special welcome to our alums. If you're an alum, maybe wave your hand. Welcome back to campus and welcome back to Champaign-Urbana. I am Katherine Rayberg, a proud Central Illinois farmer's daughter and College of Aces alum and partner at Capital City Speakers Bureau. I will be serving as the MC for today's programming. This event is presented by the University of Illinois Research Park in collaboration with the College of Agricultural, Consumer and Environmental Sciences and the Office of Corporate Relations here at the University of Illinois. This team provides year-round ag tech programming and today is the largest event with over 500 passionate attendees joining in. Today will be an interactive conference allowing participants the opportunity to learn and share knowledge about the current state of ag tech. While we look into the future through our interactive panels, engaging keynote presentations and networking opportunities. We'd also like to take this opportunity to say thank you so much to our incredible and generous sponsors. Intersect Illinois, John Deere, Bayer, Corteva, Agco, Brandt, GDM, and the NSF i Hub. Your support allows us to offer this event for free to our attendees. We are also so grateful to all of our speakers. You can follow along in your booklets to read their bios, but they have generously donated their time and made an effort to be with us today. We do have a full day of programming ahead, don't worry, we have plenty of breaks built in for networking. Please plan to stick around for the Ag Tech Showcase immediately following the event. And you can use the QR codes on the table to do Q&A throughout each session. There's also Wi-Fi instructions if you need to log in with your laptop. You will also, we, we just wanna say thank you again for joining us and we are really looking forward to a fantastic day of learning and networking. It is now with great pleasure that I get the honor to introduce Executive Director of the University of Illinois Research Park and Assistant Vice Chancellor of Innovation here at the University of Illinois. She has made it her life's work to transform Illinois into a hub of innovation, entrepreneurship, and collaboration. Her dedication and hard work have paid off, making the University of Illinois a destination for those seeking to innovate and create. Please join us in welcoming to the podium, Laura Appenzeller. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. It's a rainy day and um, we appreciate everybody making their way very early. And it was so nice to open with my friend and former colleague, Catherine Rayberg. We had the pleasure of working together on many different ag projects here at the University of Illinois. She proudly talks about her family, I think having 50 some odd graduates from the College of ACES and um, University of Illinois. So orange and blue through and through and nice to have your personality and zeal for ag back here at our Ag Tech Summit. This is nine years running. It's hard to believe that we have been doing this event as long as we have and yet we get so energized every year by having the opportunity to share what's happening in agriculture and what's happening in the innovation community here at the Research Park and having so many friends from industry, our farmers, our producers that are in the area join us, investors and startup companies that we get to highlight. So it's my pleasure that I get to tell you every year a little bit of what's happened since last year and, and a little bit more about the Research Park. Um, do we have first time attendees in the room? Oh, a whole lot, yay, welcome. 
So I'm Laura Appenzeller, as a, a Catherine said, Executive Director of the Research Park. So let me share a little bit more about the place that you're in here at the Conference Center as part of the overall Research Park, which is a tech destination. Today is our Ag Tech Summit, but we just got started in Ag Tech Week. And so I just want to also acknowledge partners like the Champaign County Economic Development Corporation, our cities, Intersect Illinois, and many partners that are helping us show off why Champaign-Urbana and Champaign County is a destination. Yesterday, we were excited to talk about our Tech Hub, which I'll share a little bit more with you about as well. But if you're enjoying this event and want to see more of what's happening in our community, please join the other events that are occurring this week as part of Ag Tech Week, and it will continue. But today I want to first start with the research park. So this is a place that started almost 25 years ago. Actually in 1999, the research park was formally uh, crafted by the Board of Trustees as a location that would become a destination, turning our agriculture land into a place where we would have corporations and startup companies, translational research, and tech workers. So the land went from being grazed by animals to a place where we have now attracted more than 120 companies more than 2,000 employees work here, and we have lots of events that bring this community together. I'll just highlight a few things about the research park, as many of you joined us for tours yesterday as well. So you are here at the top of the screen. That is the beginning of the research park at the I Hotel and Conference Center where we're located today. If it wasn't raining, I would tell you, feel free to walk around and see some of the buildings while you're here. There are 19 buildings, and including more construction that continues to occur. So it's ag tech as a theme today, and ag tech is really a part and core of our community. Uh, the, the destination here at the Research Park includes many large corporate partners and startups that are making this uh, aspiration of agriculture digital transformation possible, and I'm just gonna highlight a few. This weekend we celebrated with a hackathon. Thank you to Bear and to John Deere for being the sponsors of an event that engaged our students. It was a wonderful reflection of how much students can contribute to new innovation and technology. But in the research park, they've always been a part of what we do. And in fact, about 800 students work at the research park at a given time, working on experiential learning, paid internships, and having the chance to really transform industry. So the research park includes many ag companies that employ those students, and we continue to welcome new companies as well. These are some of the companies that are involved in food and agriculture here in the research park, many of whom are engaged in this event today. Highlighting a few, I just mentioned John Deere sponsoring our hackathon this weekend. John Deere has long been a partner here in the research park, pioneering in areas like advanced sensing and new types of information technology, mobile applications, and data science that are used within John Deere. And they have not only offices here, garage space, but also access our test fields here at the University of Illinois College of ACES. Bayer, as I mentioned, also was a partner in our hackathon and has been a phenomenal partner in pushing the future of plant breeding as it continues to be driven by data scientists and have new opportunities to design plants that will be uh, stronger performing because of the type of interdisciplinary skills that they put together here at the research park. I'd like to thank our friends from ADM. We were proudly celebrating Tech Hub with them yesterday, but they have also been a long-term partner here in the research park and expanded uh, just over a year ago into this beautiful center that allows them to work on everything from food science to chemical engineering modeling of techno-economics of bio-based feedstocks that are used for different types of chemicals and food ingredients. GDM is our newest partner. You're gonna hear more from Gaston today at our fireside chat with Dean Valero, so I won't steal his thunder, but we are thrilled to have GDM's North America headquarters, a company based in Argentina, now here at the Research Park. And we have also our plants as our neighbors. So RIPE is a greenhouse that is located here along with the plant transformation facility that is a project of the University of Illinois working on improving photosynthesis for crops and they continue to do advanced phenotyping here in the research park, but they have new neighbors that are under construction. This is the Cabby Greenhouse that we're very proud to have groundbreaking of in this, this last year, and it will open this spring. So that project is well under construction to be able to work on um, areas of innovation in biomass that are funded by the Department of Energy, including uh, bio-based aviation fuel. And we have many startup companies that are along with us. So some of them will be featured today at our 
um, networking events. So please take a moment to reach out to the startups, including Harvest IQ, that had a merger with Farmers Risk and Harvest IQ uh, creating an expanded software capabilities. Habitera, a former More Prize winner, um, working on carbon credits and numerous awards and engagements with different companies, including Tyson Foods. We have companies like Boston Bioprocess that relocated here from Boston to Champaign in the last year, working on precision fermentation. Hypercell, you're gonna hear today as one of our other fireside chats, working on point of care diagnostics in the livestock industry to prevent pathogens entering our food ecosystem. EarthSense, which continues to be a star in digital agriculture and working on automation and cover crop planting. DigiFarms, which relocated from Brazil to Champaign, Illinois this year, working on digital ag, and this company was part of our Illinois Ag Tech Accelerator, so we welcome DigiFarms to our community. Frost Defense, working on biologics that can be used to prevent frost impacting crops, another more prize winner. And Epavara, who's expanding a company that also has been recognized in our community, coming out of the College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Illinois, to look at new ways to impact livestock and domestic animals. And we're expanding them into this new facility that we just finished called LabWorks. So we need more lab and life science innovation and we're happy the state of Illinois supported us in that growth. And I'm just gonna end by talking about the Tech Hub. You're gonna hear about this. Nicole Bateman will be leading a session today that will tell you about the 31 partners that came together. But we are very proud that Champaign-Urbana and Decatur, Piatt County all worked together to create a Tech Hub designation as one of about 400 applicants in the country. We are very proud to be one of the 31 that, were our, that became designees and we've submitted to support our community through this Tech Hub. So I will just share, these are all the folks that came together. If you are part of the Tech Hub, can you please stand for one moment? I just wanna thank all the different partners that are represented in the room. Beth, I think there are more of them in the room, maybe being shy, but um, it was touched by many. So we're, we're super excited about that. Um, you're gonna hear more about this. You'll see some information out front, but we are really bullish on the future of bioprocessing and precision fermentation, a $200 billion industry opportunity in our region to be able to grow with groundbreaking research, the, the crops that we cultivate, the startup companies that we're building, and our industry partners at ADM and Premiant in the region that really make us a destination for bioprocessing, and they'll tell you more about that as the day continues. So with that, we're gonna kick off with our mayors. We have the best mayors, and we are happy to have both Mayor Marlin and Mayor Finan join us to tell you how awesome our community is with a proclamation that will share some of the highlights from the last year. So both Deb Finan and Diane Marlin will be telling you more about their communities and why Champaign-Urbana is the best place for business and ag tech. 